Everyone who has tried this chicken fried rice recipe says that it is far better than the bland tasting fried rice they usually get at their local Chinese takeout restaurant. What's great about making a stir fried rice dish is that you can have a healthy and great tasting dish in as little as 10 minutes using whatever leftover vegetables or meat you have on hand. This is an incredibly easy and versatile recipe that you should use only as a general guide. You can add whatever ingredients you like. Some ideas for ingredients that you could use in your fried rice dish, pork, Chinese sausage, shrimp, tofu, scallions, bean sprouts, etc. If you are familiar with Filipino food I believe this dish would be called sayagag, Filipino garlic fried rice. As for sauces, you can use light soy sauce along with a little bit of dark soy sauce, this is what gives fried rice its darker color, some sugar or agave for sweetness, fish sauce, etc. It's all up to you. For the perfect fried rice you want to use a long grain white rice like jasmine rice that has been drying out in the fridge for at least a day. Day old white rice will be drier and firmer. This will allow you to easily break up the rice so it will be perfect for frying and holding on to sauces. Also, be sure that when you make steamed rice the day before you make this recipe, you rinse the grains with water until the water becomes clear. This will help prevent the rice from becoming sticky. For this recipe I used frozen vegetables, peas and carrots, and some roasted chicken I purchased at the local supermarket. The ingredient amounts in this recipe will make enough for two people, or one really hungry person. When making fried rice you don't want to overcrowd the wok or pan, so this portion size is just right. This recipe is also quick enough to make that making multiple batches isn't really an issue. For this recipe I used Kikoma brand preservative free stir fry sauce as that was all I had on hand. This stir fry sauce contains soy sauce, sugar, vinegar, myrai, sweet cooking rice wine, sesame oil, garlic powder, and ginger. The regular, not preservative free, version of their sauce contains oyster sauce in addition to other authentic Asian flavorings and seasonings. If you can find this version this is the one I would suggest purchasing. In order to add some additional flavor to the fried rice I added about a half a teaspoon of oyster sauce. I didn't list oyster sauce the ingredients below as it's better to use the regular version of the stir fry sauce of which this ingredient is already included. If your stir fry sauce doesn't list oyster sauce as an ingredient, add about a half a teaspoon of oyster or fish sauce for extra flavor. Ingredients Times 2 cups white rice medium or long grain, like jasmine. Times a half cup chicken. Times a half cup vegetables defrosted, I used a mix of frozen peas and carrots. Times a quarter of a medium size edo io diced. Times one clove garlic minced. Times one and a half tablespoon stir fry sauce, I used Kikoma brand. Times sea salt. Times pepper black or white. Times one egg beaded. Times one tablespoon oil I used color. Step 1. Before you get started, wet your fingers and try to break up any clumps of rice. If the rice isn't sticky, you may even be able to break up little clumps into single grains. Place a wok or large pan on medium-high heat. Once the pan is hot, add either a bit of oil or a bit of butter. Step 2. Once the oil starts moving around, or your butter melts, add in the egg. Step 3. Once the egg begins to firm up, flip it and break it up into pieces with your spatula. Remove the egg from the pan and place on a plate. If you used butter, wipe out any excess butter remaining in the pan using a paper towel. Step 4. Add about half of a tablespoon of oil to the pan. Once the oil is hot, add in the minced garlic and onions. Step 5. Soat until the onions start to become translucent. Step 6. Add your defrosted vegetables to the pan. I used a mix of peas and carrots. If possible, add in vegetables that take the longest to cook first. Keep stirring everything around until the carrots become tender. This should take about 2 to 3 minutes. Step 7. At this point you have a couple of options to consider as you don't want to overcook your veggies while frying the rice. If you are using a wok, you can move the vegetables up one side of the wok, less heat there, and add a bit more oil to the empty side to fry the rice in. 
However, if you are using a regular pan, it's best to remove everything from the pan to a dish to be mixed back into the rice later. Once you have added about half a tablespoon of oil, toss the rice around until fully heated through. After the rice is cooked to your liking, either heated through, or so hot that the grains are dancing on the pan, go ahead and mix your veggies together with the rice. Step 8. Sprinkle in some salt and pepper. You don't need much salt as the sauce usually contains quite a bit. Then drizzle in the stir-fry sauce and the oyster sauce evenly over the food. Mix well. Step 9. Add in the cooked chicken and mix together well. Step 10. Add in the cooked egg and stir. Remove the chicken fried rice from the heat and serve. Now that you have learned how to make chicken fried rice, please be sure to view these other rice recipes. Thank you.